Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading Stanley Stick by John Hegley. Stanley Stick. Stanley stands on Stockport Station with his stick. Stanley always carries his stick with him. There he is. Stanley's stick was once part of something tall and grand, and it will never return. But it can still be a stick as best it can. Stanley has a lot of stick activity, like pretending the stick is a whistle or a banana that is quite straight. You don't have to be great to be great. Like pretending the stick is a match to catch the world of flame. There is game after sticky game. Look, it's a dinosaur that isn't extinct. It's a stickosaurus. Stanley has tried out some names for his stick, like Starry and Moon, but those names were all the wrong shape. For a while he liked Sturry, but that is better for a spoon. Stanley's stick is good for writing in the sand, in languages only Stanley can understand. And four times now, he has used his stick to pick up slugs from the pathway, platform and pavement, thus saving them from fate, from a fate worse than feet. Stanley's friend Bertie has some string, and sometimes they tie the string to the stick's end and go pretend fishing. Because the fisher pretends, no fish get hurt, says Bertie. So here is Stanley standing on the station taking his stick for a short stay, at the side of the sea with his mum and dad. The train pulls in. Down at the sea, Stanley goes down to the side of the tide. His folks take that stock of Stanley standing in the stand standing in the sand, stick in hand. What is he doing? Maybe the boy thinks it's time for the stick to be taken for someone else to enjoy. Stanley hurls his stick into the wide tide. Gosh, what a tiny splosh for something that has been so big in Stanley's days. The sea picks up the stick and tucks it into itself. Stanley is stickless. The next morning, back at their spot on the beach, the tide is out. Stanley treads towards the spreading sea. Boats ride sea back are out on the distance. Stanley decides to look for interesting sticks for other sticks which have been carried twiggy back upon the turning tide. Soon, he stumbles upon a stick alone up on the shore. It's quite different from the stick that he had before. It's a wonky stick. The stick is an unusual saxophone. Stanley thinks of home and begins to blurt out a tune for Bertie. Now Stanley stares at the sea through his stick telescope. It is wonky, and this stick Stanley knows the name of. It is called... Fantastic. Stanley's Fantastic. Thank you.